Welcome back once again. It's Medical Monday with East Cooper Medical Center. East Cooper is our ABC News 4 hospital expert. And today, Dr. Julie Rogers from Mount Pleasant Ophthalmology joins us to talk about cataracts and Botox. So, Dr. Julie, welcome to the program. Thank you. Tell me about cataracts a little bit. It seems to be more and more prevalent in society. What exactly is a cataract and what, what are the treatments like? So, a cataract is just a natural part of aging. The lens discolors as we age. Everybody will get a cataract to varying degrees. Um, the treatment for it is surgical. It's an outpatient surgery. Mm -hmm. It's fairly simple. The whole surgery takes about 15 minutes uh, where we exchange your natural lens with an acrylic lens specific to your eye. Oh, wow. That sounds very involved. What about uh, <laughs> symptoms for somebody who might be watching at home and saying, you know, my vision is starting to blur maybe. Do I need to go get checked out for right. this sort of thing? So people will complain that things just are not as crisp as they used to be, not as bright. Um, they'll also complain quite a bit of uh, blinding glare from headlights at night coming at them. Mm -hmm. Um, or that just in general they're not able to see as well as they once were. Is there a specific age range in mind? Because I know sometimes I have trouble with, with headlights and, and things like that and seeing at, at night. So is that something I need to worry about? Is it 30-something <laughs> or is it kind of further down the line? It, it can be as early as a newborn, um, but the typical cataract is usually seen in 50 and up. Wow. So how does one get diagnosed? You're going to go into your office, an right. ophthalmologist, you and then what see, happens? You come see us and we do a full eye exam and we figure out if you need glasses or how to get you to your very best visual acuity. And from that, we can tell if it's a cataract that's preventing you from getting uh, to you to where you'd like to be with your vision mm -hmm. or uh, just from the symptoms that you describe and from the eye exam, we can tell that that's what's causing your problem. Would you get one cataract in one eye at a time? Would it be both at the same time? Would it be uh, different in different people? It's typically both. Uh, but it can be one. One can be more advanced. There are different types of cataracts, so they could have a different one type that's more symptomatic than the other. Wow. Uh, very interesting stuff. Let, let's talk a little bit more about cataracts. If somebody is at home, what are some of the things that, that, that they want to look for right now? You mentioned the, the driving at night. Is there something maybe the looking at the television screen would be you know, starting well, to blur? Just in general, right, that their, ver their vision may be blurry or that things are just not as crisp as they used to be. Okay, and we mentioned the treatment is, is surgery. Is mm -hmm. that the only treatment? Mm -hmm. Can you, can you kind of get some, some glasses that might rectify it or on its own or is it only... No. No, the you got to get the new lens. Yeah, the lens is essentially kind of almost like comparable to a windshield in your car. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's got to be removed and exchanged for a clear lens um, in order to get it fixed. Now, there could be some potential side effects. Is that from the surgery or the cataract itself that would include uh, excess skin or drooping eyelids? Well, that's something totally different. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's something else that um, another surgery that I do um, called blepharoplasty for people with excess um, eyelid skin. Sure. Let's talk about that a little bit. Okay. What that is. Is that a naturally occurring thing with age as it, well? It is. Uh, some, some people a little bit more than others, um, but some people can have enough excess skin on their upper eyelids that it actually uh, blocks their peripheral vision. Hmm. Um, and some people just in general cosmetically are not happy with the appearance of their eyelids and have too much skin. And again, we do an outpatient surgery um, that just removes that ex ex excess skin. Okay, that sounds great. What about uh, Botox? Because Botox can be used in a, in a treatment for that same condition? So there's a similar a condition called blepharospasm yes. um, that Botox is covered for by insurances. And that's an involuntary twitch or contraction of the eye muscles. Um, so some people, will their eyes will clamp shut for long periods of time or they just have a constant, constant contracture of that muscle. And in those instances, Medicare and insurances will cover Botox to uh, prevent that from happening. Yeah, how exactly does that Botox work when you, when you inject it into the, around the so eyelids? So it's a neuromuscular blocker, and what it does is it, it relaxes and kind of paralyzes those muscles, for lack of a better word. And it typically lasts anywhere from three to six months and provides quite a bit of relief yeah. to those patients. You mentioned these surgeries. They seem like really quick fixes because you said it was you know, going to be done in about 15 minutes. Uh, what's the recovery time like? For cataracts? Yeah. Uh, typically, people are able to see very well when they're when they're walking out of the OR. They're being escorted out of the OR. Um, most patients, uh, unless they have other pathology, are seeing fantastic. Might drive themselves to their first day post op visit. So very minimally invasive. That's right. Um, they can typically go back to work depending on what they do within uh, two days. Um, it's it's a great recovery time. Indeed it is. Dr. Julie, thank you so much for joining us. There's all the information right there on your screen if you want to make an appointment with her or make sure that you get your eyes checked out and that you're seeing it 100%. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Pleasure to meet it's you. It's nice to meet you. All right, much more Low Country Live after the break. Make sure you stay with us.